This is how much I had. Only up to here. Because I'm a normal person who doesn't want to get worms. Look it up. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, your favorite podcast. Um, I am Spencer Cardia. I am the Mouse King. The Mouse King? Is that from the Nutcracker? It is. Sometimes it's referred to as the Rat King. Rat King. Rat King. Rat King. And this here is Frank. Frank King. Frank King. Um, wearing... Frank King Sense and Myrrh. Wearing uh, the bow that he loves to wear. That's his one way of not getting us to put a Christmas tree right there. Yeah. He's like, well, look, a Christmas bow. I can wear it a million different ways. Right. And we're waiting for the day that he can't find a new way to wear it. Right. And then, boom, he's replaced. But he's still hanging on. <laughs> Barely. They're getting a little more uh, interesting as the days go I by. I think this one is less wild than yesterday when his whole entire face was obscured. Yeah, it was. It was a wild day. I kind of like this. Like, it kind of looks like a... It reminds me of like um like an African headdress. Oh yeah, it does. Um, I kind of wish he had a more of like a printed shawl. Yeah, this white shawl isn't doing it for me. No, you're right. But if it was like yellow or like gold and like yeah. had some like orange and greens in it, absolutely. But Frank, you're still holding on. Anyway, guys, how you doing? How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Another day where we're just trudging along through the bleak no, cold winter no, no no it's so nice have you been outside it was 60 I, I degrees fahrenheit like, i know i was at the uh oh i did my sleep study yesterday part one part one um i went and they hooked me all up to a bunch of wires and um they said go to sleep and i said okay i'm, I'm pretty good at that stuff okay i'm pretty good at being told what to do <laughs> um I, I i try not to rock the boat in anything in life mm -hmm. and so it makes it that I'm a, quite a good test subject. Good. Because it's like, what do you need me to do? It's Sleep. your strength. And then it's like, I knock on the door and I can't let anyone see me sleeping. Okay. That's a rule I have. Yeah. Even though I'm sure there's a ton of people who see me sleeping. Mm. Um. So w it took half a knock. You think like, oh, snooze an alarm. Just the, I heard the wind change in the air <laughs> as a hand was going towards the door. Yeah. And I perked up like a vampire coming out of a coffin and um, the door opened and I was like, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't go very deeply, you know, knowing that you're in a, f I was in a deep sleep in the meantime, oh, but okay. I'm right there. And then like, they gave me a, a minute to, uh, <laughs> they gave me like two minutes to get my bearings. And like I said, I, I, I needed not a second to get my bearings. <laughs> so like I flew up, put, changed my sweatpants to real pants, mm -hmm. shoes on. And then uh, she, the the helper came back in. She was like, "Did you make the bed?" And I'm Did like, you? "Yeah," because <laughs> I'm like, and I'm like, "I need." Spence, they have to pull it anyway. I know you have to clean it, but it's like, I don't know. There's something about yeah, like, I feel, yeah, because we had to like, walk around the room and like I had to do like a computer test, and it's like, no, I, you know, my what? sheets just all over the good, place. No, good choice. Yeah, I'm like, I, I would rather you pull up sheets that look made good than choice. sheets that's like, mm, I just woke up. No one's going to see me like that at my weakest. Not no, you. you'll never catch me slipping, as the kids say. And that's why I got you an Advent present. It's Advent. This looks like a big Advent present, but it's only because of the... It does look like a big Advent present. It's just because of the shape of it. Oh, man. What day of Advent is it? What? Oh. Uh, I don't know. It's silly sour legs. <laughs> Sugar candy powder. I don't even have to get up. Okay, so in the show, we're going to um, both take one, and we'll see you can finish the whole thing faster. Uh, can I have it? What? Anyone with the whole thing? No. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, I meant the ingredients. Um, I'm pretty sure. Let, let me see. Yeah, sugar, citric acid, magnesium, sterite, silicon dioxide, artificial flavors, yellow five, yellow six, red three, blue one. Maybe produce a genetic engineering, though. As long as it's not produced with... Wheat or gluten. Are we going to see you can finish one of these faster? Sure. Really? Why not? You're willing to do that on live television? Yeah, why? We were, we're, we're on <laughs> forever. Oh, man. This is a treat to behold, guys. This is a lot of sugar. We're going to be wired for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> That's a myth. Oh, this will be a nice good little clip for your Instagram shorts. Look how much glue they put on there. You can, Oh, I can show you. <laughs> well. It's just. 
Uh, God. Okay, he whatever. He has to be strong in the factory. Oh, man. I'm excited for this. You don't even have to do all that. We could just cut it where it is. You're right. Okay. And luckily, we have some scissors now that this was planned. <laughs> Most definitely was not planned. Um, I needed that for something wait. else. Wait. You needed this for something else? No, I needed the scissors for something else. Well, you can use scissors more no, than once. No. <laughs> I'm saying... That's not, they're not here for the silly legs. They're here for, they were here for something Pop. else. Oh, is it clean? Ah. This is a lot. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh man. This is going to like. Well, maybe we, I don't want to, if it's too much, it's too much. I don't want to be a weirdo. No, I can, I can play like music over top of it. So people don't just. No, I meant I don't want to get sick or something. Yeah. I don't know if this is healthy, but really? let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Make sure not to wet the sugar because it'll clump. Mm. It's so grainy. We can't do it. Mm -mm. It's horrible. <clears throat> it's nothing at all like fun dip. No, it's sand. It's so coarse. No, no, Spencer. Spencer, don't have any more. Mm. Spencer, stop. It's like pure sugar. You're gonna get worms. Do you know if you what? Eat, if you if you know if you eat bowls of sugar. You get worms inside of you, and then you have to go to the pharmacy and get the thing that kills it in your intestine. Don't eat anymore. You're going to get worms. Spencer, give it to me. Mm. You have you have impulse controls. I'm almost done. I hate hollering at you on the on the Don't on me. the video. I look nuts. Spencer, look at your face. I wash it down with the triple shot espresso. Can you imagine the ingredients he just read with the Starbucks <sighs> freezer. You're being, you know what. This is how much I had. Only up to here. Because I'm a normal person who doesn't want to get worms. Look it up. Sh Why did I give this to you? It's so coarse. I thought it would be uh, like fun dip. It was awful. It's bad for you. Have uh, <laughs> you ever had the beach and you feel like you get sand in your teeth? Uh-huh. But it's worse than that. It's Sand in your teeth? Uh, no, it literally tastes like if you took... The, the the largest the coarsest sugar like brown sugar but yeah. like the big the big crystals that was my problem it was just like yeah. not enough too much sugar not enough not enough funny fun stuff like the fun dip no yeah i was really hoping for some fun dip i would have done it if it was the fun dip yeah i would have done it if i had better impulse control so you win and, and you, win. Know, you know what you win the other <laughs> <laughs> oh man is there any warning labels starting to feel funny inside well, also with the coffee drink what else am i gonna wash it down with hopes um, and prayers th serve in size two servings per container so they so i guess the serving is it's right because we got two sticks hmm. well you'll that's be, that you'll be all right i'm gonna start going into like my an tongue epileptic. actually feels unhappy the first one was the worst. Oh, I should have kept going? No, not even flavor-wise. Yeah, yeah I, you didn't even get past anything. You I got even, one color. You don't even have a right to complain. I got one color. The first time I was strictly going for speed, imagining a fun dip. Yeah. And so I went way too far yeah. where I just had a bunch of dry sand in my mouth. Mm. Like so much that like if I like coughed, there would have been a huge right, right, smoke. Right, right, right. And um, after that, I changed my, my um, you know, because in, in, uh, in competition, it's mm -hmm. all about, it's not about doing one thing well it's about adapting that reminds me i want to tell you something you know how you have um there's a saying and you're like i hate that people don't know the second part of that saying um wait which one we had a we had a whole bunch of them but that, what's that, the one you always promote um jack of all trades yeah what was that jack of all trades master of none and so the, the original statement is you're a jack of all trades or no so the idea is Oh yeah. What you can, good is it? Yeah, what good is it? You mm -hmm. can do everything a little bit, but you can't do anything any one good thing. The the full thing is Jack of all trades, master of none. Um like being able to do all is better than one. Or something like better master of trades. I'm sorry. Jack of all trades, master of none, it's still better than master of one. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember. And then but the other one There's which one? I think you might be thinking of is um, blood or oh, blood is thicker than yes. water. I think that's the one. Okay. So blood is thicker than the water. The idea of it is that family is more important than your friends. Mm -hmm. When it literally means 
the complete opposite. Interesting. Um, where it is the full thing is well, this isn't full in the sense there's a continuation. Yeah. This is people are changing it. It's gotcha. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Oh. Which is a complete blood opposite. Blood is thicker than blood so of they the just covenant. Boiled like, it down to be like. Don't forget, blood is thicker than water. And they meant... The blood of the covenant, like a blood pact like between two people, gotcha. is thicker than the water of the womb, who you're just born with. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm jazzed up. I got a lot of sugar in me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ugh. Yeah. Today is Bangladesh's Independence Day. Man, I love Bangladesh. Mostly because of the name. Bangladesh? Bangladesh. It's just like... You would you would think it's like a hard name because it's like the letters yeah Bangla- but it's like for some reason it just comes out of the mouth so smoothly yeah Bangladesh Bangladesh Bangladesh, Bangladesh. And, Bangladesh. I, and I think if you're from Bangladesh you're Bangladeshi Bangladeshi ah uh. I think you are um eh. and it used to be called Bengal like the tiger yeah I guess the tiger was from there oh. Ah. Um, but the, today is their Independence Day, and that's because they fought a war against Pakistan and won, and they got to... So over there in India, you know, India bleeds into Pakistan, bleeds into Bangladesh, and Bhutan maybe, and Sri Lanka. Like, it's like America. Like, there's there's a, uh, there's borders, but it's... Yeah. The, I'm sure the Bengal tiger walks all over it wherever he wants, mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like a, I could say as a quote. You know, like the lone wolf. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Bengal tiger doesn't see borders. Yeah. Um, there's a famous Bangladeshi, uh, Sri Anandamai. S-R-I? Like Sri Lanka? Oh, yeah. Sri Anandamai. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. She's a Hindu saint from... Um, I didn't know Hindi had sainthood. Yeah. And she frequently slipped into divine ecstasy and attracted numerous followers inspired by her spirituality and simple teachings. She just died in 1982, so oh, wow. people could have known her. But I like this quote that she has, which is, whether you worship Christ, Krishna, Kali, or Allah, you actually worship the one light that is also in you since it pervades all things. We say something similar. Um, I was thinking about that. Uh, <clears throat> we, we are, you know, we're, we're Christian <laughs> the sugar <laughs> we're christian and um they should give you know the, mm. the 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 um the host at eucharist will you remember what you're saying yeah yeah the host at eucharist you know how it's so bland it's just like i don't yeah. know what it is it's just a little piece of paper yeah <laughs> so, um but it, you know they should make it like sweetie you know and then we'd all be like we're christian like after uh, after communion yeah, like, get, like communion cereal <laughs> yeah it's yeah. like ah oh, the body of, <laughs> body of christ i'm not, I'm not doing okay over here um I can't believe you're washing it down with coffee. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the triple shots too. Triple shot energy. Go triple ahead. Shot. Go ahead. Um, sometimes I, I run through ideas, you know, for Croak and Crow in my head. Even not just ideas. I, I, I think about things when, even when I'm not podcasting, if you would believe. Um, <laughs> I would believe that. And we always talk about the connect. everyone's God's children. And yeah. Even though we're Christian, we still love. And, and, I, and I, when we stay away very much from saying... I love atheists, but I want better for them. I, I love, yeah. I love, you know, um, people of Islam. Islam if Islamic only they faith, could see the light, yeah. But I, I just want better for them. We don't have that. We say no. we love you, and, and we think that you can be live a good spiritual life. And um, my idea was to go to people on the street, okay, and just say I, I can, two parts. The first okay. part is. Um, do you believe in God? Yeah. And the ratio probably be not everyone mm-hmm. does, right? But then you, you, the second part would be, do you believe in love? Mm. See how many people do say. Do you believe in love after love? And. Uh, you know who sings that? Mariah Carey. Cher. Kelly Clarkson. Cher. Selena Gomez. What's that guy say? It's yeah. a Cher vibe or something. I don't know. Come on. It, it, it's famous. It's It's, um. Who's the singer that just broke up with the girl? And he Shawn is... Shawn Mendes? Yeah. Is it Shawn Mendes say it? He said something like that. Like, it's it's a share vibe or something. It's giving... It's giving share. Uh, I don't know. Um, Just cut that out. No. Um, One of these days you'll listen to me. <laughs> but it goes back to 
the idea of it. So when they say, yes, I believe in love, then what do you do? You nothing. Throw nothing. something at them? Yeah. It's like, no, hurts. nothing. Nothing. It's never to convince them of anything. Oh. It's to go back and to... Oh, you're just, using, you're, you're just gathering data. Just gathering da data. Yeah, data, data, <laughs> you know, potato, potato, just to go back and explain our philosophy on religion mm. and saying, we, if we say, we sit here and we say, God is love, God is love, God is love. And it goes to stop trying to convince people right. of this and that. It's like, the people you, you, sh you know, people don't believe in love. Yeah. <laughs> Those are people that you can work on. But it's right. like, if God is love and this person saying, I believe in, in love, even if they're not saying it directly, it's like what they believe in is what I believe is, yes. I believe to be God. And what's important to live amongst. And the only reason I'm saying all this is because what was her quote again? Her quote was, whether you worship Christ, Krishna, Kali, or Allah, you actually worship the one light that is also in you since it pervades all things. So like, that's literally like our belief, but you know, right. the one light is, is love, which is we, we see as God. Right. And so it's like, whether you are, are, calling this name this name this name this name we make these these worldly names for mm -hmm. this one thing right our belief is that we're all believing in love which is inherently god right which brings us all together and does not take us apart what man has brought what god has brought together let no man take apart people yes. think it's about um divorce yeah a, a wedding what if it's just what you just said hmm We'll do that on a walk through Thursday, which is not today. It is today. It's not the quote. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the verse. Well, just getting into it, guys. It is walk through Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What's up, guys? It is walk through Thursday, my favorite day of the week. What was that? I was trying to, um, like know what you were going to say by moving my oh, mouth am i time. getting a little too predictable no i'll change it up what we do today guys is we open up the bible <laughs> i'm not changing it you said the same thing before um we open up god's book god's great book the bible and um we pick a verse mm -hmm. last week what do we pick uh, psalm 31 psalm 31 thank you and we just walk through it slowly, you know, instead of just give, a lot of Bible verses are great for mantras. You know, you can just say the, the Lord's Prayer over and over again mm -hmm. and never really think about it. Yeah. And you can even say something literally mm -hmm. and not try to find other meaning in it. Yeah. But this is to really slow it down and, and look at it literally. Look at it. What's opposite of literal? Figuratively. But that's not really what we do, figuratively. No, sometimes we do. But like if, deeper, if it, we look for a deeper Because if it's meaning. too literal, just like we, you know what I'm saying? Like we say like maybe he's not talking about a, an actual fence. Yeah. He's talking about, you know. Yeah, if, if, mm -hmm. the, if the Noah story didn't actually happen historically, right. what does it figure to So we don't mean? even care when people say like, oh, uh, that could never happen. Yeah. You know, the, the stick couldn't turn into a snake in, yeah. in your sight because it's figurative. Yes. But we, we slow it down um, and we try to find a little meaning to it. And hopefully you find a little meaning too. might not be what we think, but it might be what you think. And that's just as good because the Bible is meant for each and every one of us individually. Right. And if you don't feel like thinking, just hearing the word of God is a blessing. Yes, so it is. Um, we have friends on YouTube who read the Bible um, to their whoever's. I was going to say subscribers, but that's not true. It's not it's not like um a patreon or whatever it's youtube free for everyone they read the bible different pieces they choose and and just listening to it is a bl blessing you don't even have to try to dissect it yeah you know it's funny um in in the height of covid there was this priest who had no part of he, i think i believe he's a catholic priest i could be wrong is there any other priests well yeah you hear about ministers yeah and, i don't know and, what and, and, i don't know yeah i don't know what they okay. call well, each other call, the, call themselves didn't have a big following or whatever, but he decided it was almost for himself, but also for his congregation. Okay. He was putting up podcasts of just reading the okay. Bible. Yeah. And um, it became like, then COVID, it became like the number one most listened to. Like, oh, wow. I heard him being interviewed. He was like, right. He was like, I am, I am overjoyed. Yeah. But he was so surprised that um, that many people um, would just listen to listen to the words being spoken. And then his challenge will come or probably already has 
you know, to realize that the star is the word of God. I think he knows. I, like, I remember you told me about Billy Graham that he would hold up the Bible as he exited. Oh no, I think I think I think that was part of it. It was he was happy so that I, I imagine because so like happy. I said, he's not even given. He's not giving commentary. commentary. Okay, it's like it's just. And I think there it, are some priests who do answer questions, right? Yeah, yeah. And and I think that is what made it so popular. Okay, was the fact that like just want to hear it. People were like, when you're riding in a car, you don't yeah. really want to be given a sermon. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you could. I'm sure a lot of people do want to be given a sermon. But these people in particular, it's like at the time, yeah. I just want the Bible being read. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, that's that. Mm-hmm. Oh wait. So wait. We're walk through Thursday. We're walking. We already danced. Yeah, we danced, but we um so that's what we do. And so we're gonna pick a verse, we're gonna walk through it, um, sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, syllable by syllable, letter by letter. Sometimes it's really long and sometimes it's really short. And sometimes it's in the middle. <laughs> it's a short one. Oh, nice. Yeah. And what is it? Every week. <laughs> you didn't give me a paper. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is printed out weird. I feel like I have like the... Uh, you always have comments about the printing <laughs> for some reason. I feel like I have the uh, like who won oh, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, the beauty pageant, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Miss yeah. America. The winner is Hosea 4. All right, guys. So we're reading the book of Hosea. Okay. Um, And that is Old Testament? Yeah, I think so. Hosea 4.16. The Israelites are stubborn, like a stubborn heifer. <laughs> Why is that funny? Is that like an insult? People, people will call you a heifer, but it just means a cow, right? Or a, yeah. is it a is it an ox? It's yeah, some kind of bovine, stubborn creature. Okay, like a stubborn heifer. How then can the Lord pasture them like lambs in a meadow? Oh, so it's just leaving us with a question. <laughs> it's just a question. That's tough. Okay. <laughs> Let's walk through it. Okay. I have the Holy Spirit inside me or just a ton of sugar. A I ton, haven't really uh, decided will, what I'm feeling yet. Hopefully not anything else. All right. <clears throat> the Israelites are stubborn like a stubborn heifer. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we know that all too well. Yeah. St- people are stubborn. People that are stubborn. And um, and we all... That's, that's what... I know we always talk about let those with ears hear Mm -hmm. or he who has ears, let him hear. But, um, what that's referring to is the stubborn people of the world. Right. Like a stubborn heifer. Right. You ever see when, when people are trying to move like a a, a bull, you ever see like a bull that doesn't want, and they're just there like pulling. And how about a Newfoundland? Yes. Newfoundland. I saw a Newfoundland the other day. I did. I went to an ice hockey game. We had a Newfoundland. They were playing. (laughs) We had a, a Newfoundland dog. Uh, I don't know what 140 pounds. I forget how much. 100, yeah, 140 something. And it was a, a girl dog. It was a girl. The guys get bigger. Yeah. Um. And my poor little children who would take it for a walk. They'd be out there somewhere. The dog would sit down because it didn't want to walk. I mean, it's not a very active dog. And uh, there was no moving it. No. Newfoundlands. Uh, they pull boats. Yeah. So I mean, that's how they were. They were bred to do. And so you can imagine a boat compared to a seven-year-old. Yeah. Thankfully, yeah. right? Thankfully, it was a lazy dog. Yeah. Who wanted to sit down? True. <laughs> if they started moving, we'd be going wherever they wanted yeah. to go. Yeah, but um, so stubborn. Um, I eventually had to have the groomer come to the house, the vet come to the house because I could not get the dog in the car. I bought a ramp for the dog to climb into the minivan. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If, the, if this stubborn animal did not want to, um go it couldn't make it go so so yeah so that, how then can the lord pasture them like lambs in a meadow and so as we know lambs refer to over and over it's all about being led right herding it's like yeah um we want to be lambs to lord God. pasture them like lambs in a meadow 23rd psalm 23rd psalm pasture lord is my meadow. shepherd <laughs> lambs just say sheep um yeah all of that is just takes you straight to um, the 23rd Psalm. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, what we strive to be to the Lord because we want him to guide us. Right. And um, you wait, you know, if you want someone to guide you, you need to be guidable. Right. <laughs> no pun intended. No, but it's bull. true. Oh, 
No, it is true. So we can just, um, as for it, as for it saying the Israelites are stubborn, um, that part's not going to apply to what we're talking about right now. No. The Israelites, the I believe the the whole chapter of four um, is is talking about the Israelites who were not being, not doing what they're supposed to do. Um, actually, there's a famous quote. Not they're all famous, but there's a there's a verse in Hosea four that people like to put on posters and stuff, and it has something about that the people don't want to have understanding. Yeah. They just want to party and live their lives without understanding. They don't want understanding. So this is like, um, you know, it's telling them to get right. So, but just don't worry about it saying Israelites, we don't want to be stubborn against the Lord. Yes. And um, so, yeah. So how then can the Lord pasture them on lambs in a meadow? This is obviously leaving just a question. Yeah. Um, maybe 17 would have the answer. It's all right. We're doing it short today. No, but, but I'm, it, it, isn't it a rhetorical question? I think oh. it's a rhetorical question. Like if I, if I said, if you said, um, you know, pick me up from work and then I go to work and you're not outside. And then I say, you want me to pick you up from work, but you're not outside. Like, yeah. what did you want from me? You know? Yeah. How, how, how are you expecting the Lord to guide you the right way when right. you're not budgeting? Right. Oh, okay. It's rhetorical. Um, and it's like. Sense. Act the way you want to be treated. Yes. You want to be treated like a lamb yeah. in a meadow, but you're acting yes. like a stubborn heifer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start saying that the people are being stubborn. I don't think and, you should. <laughs> no, and, and they'll take it as like a big insult. I'm like, oh, no, it's biblical. Oh, it's Hosea, it's biblical. Hosea 416. Hosea I'm sorry. I, I want you to be a lamb in a pasture. <laughs> you're being a real stubborn heifer. <laughs> um, Not my words. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. It's rhetorical. And because, you know, as we have said, we're all born as God's children. So right. these are all analogies. You know what analogy means? What's, wait, or is it a metaphor? One is is lichen and one is you are oh. uh, stubborn as an ox. You are, I don't know. Um, so it's it's like the way you, you live your life. Mm-hmm. If you've been a stubborn heifer for too long now, does not mean you cannot be a sheep that's willing to be pastured. Right. But I think a big part is this. Okay, and this is we it goes to let those with ears hear, and yada yada. This does not say the Israelites are a stubborn heifer. How then can I pasture them? It's how can then the Lord pasture them like lambs? I, I think if if anything from this, it just keeps referring to. Don't like act like you are, you are, um. Uh, better than your fellow person to do God's job for him. Okay. And, and to like see the stubborn heifer and just be trying to pull them yourself. It's right. like literally it says, how can, how can God help the person who doesn't want to be helped? Right. And it's like, God will always be there for them. He'll be, he'll be very patient and waiting. Right. And, but you're a little sheep coming over, biting at the, uh, the heifer's ankles and saying, you're supposed to come this way. Right. You know what and we did talk about that before. You know what happens when a lamb bites at a, a heifer's hoof? Gets kicked. Gets kicked. And you know what yeah. you know you know what the uh what you know what the, the, the shepherd would say? Say, I got this. Right. You're you're great. You know, it's it's part of that ninety nine sheep thing. Mm-hmm. It it is he leaves the ninety nine sheep, not because he doesn't love the ninety nine sheep, but because they're not who needs him right now. Right. And the last thing he needs is for some sheep, sh- some sheep search parties, yeah, going out and losing more sheep. Yeah, that's really interesting. It makes me think of yesterday's um, quick little Bible verse when we talked about Zacchaeus, the tax collector. Yeah, and the people were mad, and they said, "Why would you? Um, why would? Why did you pick him?" But if you think about it, Zacchaeus said to Jesus, "The people I've cheated, I'm going to pay them back fourfold." So by Jesus um, befriending Zacchaeus, everyone benefited. So. Yeah. You know, trust in the Lord's understanding. He knows what he's doing and he's making it good for all. Yeah. And when, I, when I'm when i saying all this, don't get it twisted that I'm saying, don't worry about anybody. Yeah. Like, you worry about yourself. But I'm seeing in, in a lot of ways when we're going, we're being pastured by God and, and we're loving it. We try to, like, we get mad at people. Yeah. Like, or judge people who are being stubborn heifers and... That is what we shouldn't. We, we should always be striving to to love. Yeah. We we talked about love in the beginning. Right. And we'll talk about love at the end. We'll talk about love on every podcast. I don't care. <laughs> no one's no one's telling you not to. <laughs> um, but yeah. So 
And then, you know, we all can be a stubborn heifer at some point that's in our life. Yeah. And um, I think it's just an, it's just important to be conscious of, of that. And and life is easier. Like, yes, the, the look at the payoff. If, if you, you're being a stubborn heifer, but if you would act like a lamb in a meadow, mm-hmm. you're going to get a better deal. Yeah. And so stubbornness, which I find a lot when you encounter someone being stubborn, they're just they're just walling themselves up yeah. for no reason. Um, what is it? In, in the alcoholics, the the what's like the first step? I don't know. One of the steps is is oh, what is like the way? There's a way to put it. I mean, you have a problem? No, yeah, maybe. But the, um, is and then we'll end the podcast. But it is um, you accept, not accept, like you you admit. No, you like you. you <laughs> I was gonna you say, say you admit. give yourself up, but that's not that's not. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you um. I'll get it. Ooh, like you turn yourself over to it. You, yeah. Um, you. Oh my gosh. This is gonna kill me. It's fine. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it right here until we do get it. And we're back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't. We just we cut we, it somewhere else. No, it's fine. We just we just did couldn't weren't. It, I, Want some sugar? <laughs> we weren't able to find it, but you know what you know what I mean. It's once you submit yourself, um, life becomes easier because mm-hmm. it's not always fighting against um it's fighting against that. It's yes. Understanding that you are in the control of God. Right. And he knows what's best for you. But yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll i I'll find out what I was trying to say tomorrow once I have it cleansed from all of this. Um the worst part wasn't even sugar. Well, those ingredients were like nitric, You're right. nitric acid and stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, okay. Well, thank Hope you for coming tomorrow. to One Word Wednesday. <laughs> one we'll be back tomorrow for through Thursday Christian meme review. Spencer. Um, <laughs> peace. Oh, my God. Spencer. Now, hello. How many times do I say Spencer out loud like that? Every single time. <laughs> Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap.